Hi, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Tim and today we're doing a walk around video of our 2015 MY16 Triton GLS Manual 4x4. In this video we're going to go around the outside of the car, look at the quality of the vehicle, then we're going to jump inside and run through the interior as well. So looking at the front, first thing you'll stand, that will stand out to you is in this nice sunlight we do have this beautiful blue colour. Being my favourite colour in the Mitsubishi Triton range, it does contrast well with the chrome across the middle and the update in the MQ Triton, we do have a cutaway in the bottom of the headlights here with nice uh, silver colours in the headlights really matching to those chrome highlights. Being the GLS this model is equipped with fog lights already for you which is really really handy to have. This paint is in fantastic condition across the front. Uh, I'm just trying to pick, pick out anything for you. A very minor blemish just here across the front but otherwise just a couple of stone chips but that's all I can see on this car. One thing as we come around the car you'll see that the sunlight hits the blue and does reveal a really nice metallic flake into this colour of paint. With brand new highway Bridgestone tyres fitted to this car we do have really Really nice premium alloy wheels just down here uh, in fantastic condition as well which is really really good to see these are 17 inch rims a good amount of clearance as well uh, with this nice flare running across the top just there chrome on our side mirror caps just here with a uh, built-in side indicator this car does have a privacy glass fitted to it but not tint so I'd recommend getting some tint have a t chat to Kylie our um, pre-delivery coordinator and uh, she can probably organize some tint for you even though it does have privacy glass on the back this doesn't offer UV protection the chrome highlights just here on the door handles is really, really nice touch and it does match our side mirrors as well as our nice lower side step as well, a tubular side set with some grips on there and the chrome as well. One thing I will point out about this car, uh, or the Mitsubishi Tritons in general, is they do have what they call the J-line shape on the body. So you notice with Mitsubishi Tritons that the cab does extend back on an angle like this. What that does is it allows the rear seats to recess back a little bit further, giving you more legroom in the back, making it an even more friendly car. Uh, family friendly car rather. Here we do have a nice sports bar in chrome to match our chrome highlights all across the vehicle. Stopping in our second premium, premium alloy wheel, you'll see that this car actually does have fantastic condition alloy wheels so far with brand new tyres all around. Moving down to the, to the back of the car, the red tail lights do stand out against the uh, blue quite well with our common rail diesel injection badge on the back and our reverse camera just fitted here nicely into the tailgate. This car is already equipped with a tow bar as well as a really nice uh, rear bumper and step. With our loopless tonneau cover, the advantage is they don't have to pop rivet into the back. A couple of very minor blemishes here on the tailgate, but otherwise fantastic condition. Just lifting up this tonneau cover here and I'll drop the tailgate down. This car probably Oh, it does have really nice, uh, looks like woolen seat covers in there as well. A couple of, uh, like a few scratches in the back here, as you'd expect from a, a ute of this age that has been used. I would probably recommend putting a tub liner in here and that will clear that right up. But otherwise, no real major dents or dings in here. Just, just the typical scratch wear that we do have. So popping this back closed, in order to close the lipless torno cover, all you have to do is just pull the uh, little plastic bit over the lip. So by pulling it a little bit and then just pushing some down pressure on the car across the back, just like this, does close it up, gives you a nice seal as well. Moving around now to our passenger side of the vehicle, do have our diesel fuel filler cap just here above our third premium alloy wheel. This premium alloy wheel on, uh, does also present fantastically with a brand new tyre and another wheel guard as well. Moving down to the passenger side of the car, no marks for me to point out to you, this car is in absolutely beautiful condition and once again take in that, that nice paint job as the sun's coming down, just bringing that nice metallic flake. Having a st stop at our last alloy wheel, this one also has no gutter rush with a brand new tyre as well, so all four wheels present absolutely Absolutely beautifully with brand new tyres, paint in fantastic condition as well, already have a sports bar with a torno cover and tow bar fitted to this vehicle. This vehicle does have a lot going for you. So I'm just going to pop the uh, bonnet now, just on the driver's side do you have our release cable with a little lever just here in the middle, pushing it to the left, there we go. So while you're under here, have a look at how good condition this 2.4 litre diesel engine is. Now they did go from a 2.5 to a 2.4 litre diesel engine here, but all that was was a drop of 30 cc's. So out of 2,400 cc's, it just went from rounding from 2.4 uh, to 2.5, just rounding down to 2.4. This car does still put out 133 kilowatts of power and 433 newton metres of torque. This car does also have the six-speed manual transmission and the 4x4 driving range behind it. With the 75 litre 
diesel tank on these. The fuel uh, economy has actually improved with that slight change in, in the engine, and it does go down to 7.2 litres per 100, per 100 k's driven, which will give you an average of just over 1,000 kilometres from a full tank of fuel. These cars do have the 3.1 towing capacity, uh, as well as about a one tonne, just under a one tonne payload in the back of the tub, which is really good to see. And for the family as well, we do have seven standard airbags with a five star ANCAP safety rating. Moving to the interior of our car, looks it has been looked after just as well as the outside. We've got a two-tone colour going on here on the door card with a nice long armrest with full electric uh, window control just here. Moving our steering wheel to the right does, re does reveal we do only have one key with this car, as well as our fog light, angling buttons, traction control and side mirror adjustment. Indicators on the right with our headlight control. Moving this over to the left and we do have our uh, front windshield wiper too. A little bit of wear on the top of the steering wheel but otherwise the rest presents absolutely fantastically. Leather wrapped, maybe a little bit more wear here with they rested their thumb. Do have our cruise control on the right and our Bluetooth and media settings here on the left. Moving to the center now, we do have a CD player across the top, really good piano black finish, as well as our nice touchscreen head unit as well, but by pressing the buttons does jump easily between stations. Throwing the car into our reverse gear, does bring up our really clear reverse camera as well, just like I pointed on the outside with our distance markers behind us. We can easily see our tow bar as well, making pulling up to anything very, very simple. Below that, we do have our uh, dual zone climate control with our fan speed in the middle. And then just down from that, we do have a USB port under here next to our 12 volt socket cigarette lighter, which has never been used. A bit of storage under here. We can actually pop out this, revealing a bit more storage under there. And then a really nice looked after manual gear shifter, which has very good, fan, uh, fantastic condition leather um, and very little wear on the top of it. Just here we do have our driveline selector. Now Mitsubishi do have our what we call super select. So you've actually got two high, four high for the pavement, which most don't have. So an all wheel drive mode before going to your off-road four wheel drive modes as well. So you do have that fourth extra gear. Uh, nice uh, ashtray here, which has never been used. Probably use it for some coin storage. Two cup holders. And then in here we've got a two tier a storage holder with a 12 volt socket just in under there as well. Nice area to keep your phone. Now I'm going to get my camera person to pan around the interior. Seats are in fantastic condition as is the carpet trimming as well. Uh, everything is just presents absolutely beautifully in here. Even in the back, like I said, you do have that extra room. The back of the seat does fold down revealing uh, nice anchor points for child seats as well as a center bit which drops down to give you an armrest or cup holders for people sitting in the, in the back. Headlining also appears to be in fantastic condition with a nice um, sunglasses holder just here as well. All right, thanks for watching our walk around video of our 2015 MY16 GLS Triton. Hope this has answered any questions you have about the vehicle as far as practicality goes, fuel efficiency goes, safety, interior, quality. Uh, this car has a lot going for it as well as brand new tires, great condition alloy rims, and the sports bar and Toronto cover already fitted to it. One thing I would like to point out about this car is it does qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan, which gives you an extra five years mechanical protection for the vehicle as well as 10 years roadside assistance anywhere in Australia. I'd like to know more about our premium mechanical protection plan, please click the link in the description below. Otherwise guys, once again, thanks for watching our walk around video of our uh, GLS Triton. Berwick Mitsubishi, customer service is where we thrive, so please give us a call at 9907 555.